I want to talk about the eagle's wings. This is a lot of people believe that because the New United State is the eagle. You know, the symbol stand as the eagle. And a lot of these prophets and teachers teaching that the United States, the one that will be protecting Israel during the last three and a half years. But the United States home will be broken before that. You got the wrong understanding when the Bible is talking about the eagle's wings in Revelation chapter 12. Um, read verse 6 and verse 12, chapter 12 and verse 6 of Revelation. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. That's three and a half years. And that's the last three and a half years. But then, like I said, the United States home will be broken after they fight a rain. You know, the United States is turning away from Israel. See, the Democrat is turning away from the natural Israel. The natural branch of Israel. You can't you see that? It's all in the news. They're falling away from, like protect, protecting Israel. All right, like in verse fourteen, this is what some of these prophets be saying. And in Revelation twelve and fourteen, see they have the wrong understanding. They don't read God's word very carefully. As God will protect his people on the eagle's wings in the last three and a half years, those that are saved, are seeking him, that are, that are saved. And verse 14 says, And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. And they probably be thinking about that's the United States. We're given two wings of a great eagle. As the Lord will be carrying his people, just like he did in the Old Testament, on the eagle's wings. He said, and the woman with and the woman and to, I mean, excuse me, he said, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. That's three and a half years. A time is one year and times is two years. So it's make three years and a half a time. That's a half a year. So it's three and a half years from the face of the serpent. It's the last three and a half years that God will protect us. why he told the people in Judea to flee to the mountain. You know, they have to obey. God will protect them. You know. It's not the United States going to be protecting Israel. His people are not um, the elect in the last days. It's God going to be protecting them on eagles' wing. You know. Now turn to uh Yes, I think it's in uh, Exodus chapter 19, and verse 4. Exodus chapter 19, and verse 4. It says this, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I buried you on eagles' wings. See, God buried Israel on eagles' wings. See, you have to read God's word. You know, you have to look at the whole Bible. You know, to get an understanding of God's word. See, he said, "Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptian." See, the Egyptian was destroyed. Pharaoh and his army was destroyed. See, 
and how I buried you on the eagle's wings. You see, God buries people on the eagle's wing. Same like in Revelation in the last days. He, is, he protect, protect his people on eagle wings. No, I told him to flee, to protect them in the last three and a half years. You know, those that you want to keep alive, he will be protecting them. Some will be put to death, like Jesus Christ said. You know. But the one that you will keep alive, that God will protect them in the last three and a half years, in the Great Tribulation. And brought and and brought you unto myself. See, what he said it. Ye have seen what I I did unto the Egyptian, and how I bred you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. See, that's God's doing. See, when these preachers be teaching that the New York State will protect Israel because. The United States is not in Revelation chapter 13. It's not, it's not so because the United States home was broken. See? Because it's showing in Revelation all of the, the, the beasts, you know, because the first was like a lion and had an eagle wing. But the United States wing is not that because the wing was plucked up. You know, his home was broken. That's why. And Britain, still, the line was still there. Like I said, a line will be a part of the third beast. You know, it's going to be the, the Vatican, uh, China, and Russia, and Britain, the Lion Nation. See? Doing the th third beast. Because that's what it's showing in Revelation 13. And it's showing the ten horned beast there too. Then it get to verse 11 and 13 and showing the false prophet. You know, that going to be John in with those ten kings at the end time. But the ten king will show up first. You know, first it will be like a lion had eagle wings. That's Britain and the United States. The second one's like a bear, you know. That's Russia. And the third beast was the leopard. It had four heads. See, it's showing all of them. It had four heads. You know, it was China, like I said, China in there. And Russia and Britain and a false prophet from the Vatican. Those four heads. Four going to be ruling the nation. Then the ten horn. That's why it's showing Revelation the ten horn. He had ten horn. The ten horn showed up after that. And the little horn got out from the third beast. See, it was four of them. But it got out when the ten horn showed up. The little horn got out from the, from the third beast and got with the ten king, the ten horns. Then make the final beast. The false prophet is the head. He tell those ten kings what to do. Ten horns. So he give power to those ten kings. False prophet is the beast too. That's what you have to understand. See, the ten horn is the beast. That's why I said it tell you in Revelation 13 and 11. A second beast, you know, he had two horns like a lamb. He spake as a dragon. That was a false prophet. You know, he controlled the religion like Nebuchadnezzar did. He controlled the religion and the government all in one. Like Christ coming, so he can be trolling everything in one. You know, like Moses Control everything in one, how to dress and stuff, you know, in the government, you know, in the religion, how you have to worship all that. Moses did all that. And the Antichrist do the same thing. Jesus Christ, when he come back, he could be controlling everything all in one. The same thing. 
got to read and understand. You got to read and let them understand. And government and religion is not separate. And the people just lied to you many years. So that's why I'm trying to show you, you know, by the word of God. You know, the one that will carry you, an eagle wing is God carries people on eagle wing, the elect in the last days. Those they want to keep alive, he will protect them during the great tribulation. Not the United States, you know, as God's, God protecting his people. That's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. So may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.